This is one of the good parks of New York City. And uh, I love this place. I've been coming here for a while. Uh, I saw Danny Pencil sitting on the ledge over there, and uh, he told me about this ramp that they were going to start building. And I was like, shit, yeah. How's it going? Dan Pencil here with Hoods the Woods. Morning of day two. Beautiful, sunny day. Well, today, um, Hoods to Woods Foundation, we partnered up with the good people at Open Road, and we just came together to build a skate ramp right here in the Lower East Side. Just to start a catalyst to get people to be aware, we need to build skate parks in our community. I came out this morning because almost done our wonderful efforts building the ramp. I did a lot actually. <laughs> Oversee and make sure everything is going okay. None of the kids really have a mini ramp out here, so they were just super stoked. They're like, wow, it's not getting kicked out of every spot in Midtown. We're actually gonna have a mini ramp that we can go to whenever we want. There's a couple good spots. Some of them that are built by you know the city and all that aren't too good. We got the wood donated. I, it's like seriously couldn't have been a better scenario. So I'm just really happy to see it all coming together. Well, Hoods to Woods Foundation started two years ago. Basically, Hoods to Woods, it was a documentary, a short film uh, I made about getting my first passport because of snowboarding and coming back to, to the streets of Bed-Stuy. And every time I came from these trips, I would feel bad. I was like, yo, this is not fair. You know, I'm out here traveling, having fun. I need to share this with my neighborhood. Last year, I found out about the organization. You know, I've been living in Brooklyn for like seven years now. We moved a couple blocks down last summer. We moved on the Decca's block. Decca's like, oh yeah, you know, there's all these kids in this neighborhood. He told them that Trevor moved there, and Trevor's a skater and a snowboarder. So all the kids just started coming to our house. And he lived right on the corner from me, and he's obviously passionate about snowboarding, so we just clicked. He just told me what he was trying to do with the organization, and so we just started brainstorming on how I could help. And Trevor would skate around the neighborhood with the kids, and like it was to the point where there'd be like 12 kids, like seriously, some of them were like five or six, and they'd just be like skating through the neighborhood behind Trevor, and be like, well, this is our skate crew. <laughs> you know, we'd go snowboarding with the kids in the winter and, and just really try to get as much awareness in the community about the Hoods to Woods Foundation. And I was so stoked to be involved. Hey, hey, Pop. <laughs> this is my first project with Hoods to Woods. My dad's a carpenter. Started building houses when I was 12 with him, and then once I started skating, we borrow lumber from other job sites and uh, build ramps in our backyards or in our garage or whatever, you know? Loading a couple sheets of plywood up on top of your board and pushing it through the alleys. <laughs> Borrowing. I built just mini ramps and kickers back in PA and then I built skate parks upstate and in New York with Andy Kessler. Now it's just, if I get a random email and I'm not doing anything that weekend, hey, you, you want to build me a ramp? Absolutely. Keeps them active, one is healthy. Uh, it keeps them busy. I think that skating notoriously has a big like punk rock aspect to it. You know, that's like the history of skating. It's like punk rock and even hip hop has that same thing. It's like all those things kind of go together. So I think that people are a bit afraid of that, you know. Especially in snowboarding, used to have the same thing where it used to be skiers and the snowboarders came and they're like, oh, derelict. You can have a skateboard, find something, a curb or whatever. You could have just a plain piece of pavement and do something fresh on it, and that's what's so exciting. There's no rules, there's no certain way to do it, you just do it. We have the skeleton built, we're putting the sheeting down and building the decks right now. The kids have been putting in crazy work. Shout out to Dan, UXA crew, Billy Rohan, like everybody in the community really came together to make this project happen. So I'm just so stoked to drop in on this thing, you know? I think everybody is, just to feel it for the first time, you know? One of the great things about this project has been getting the kids involved, using drills for the first time, making cuts, and they're just, they're so involved. They're over there right now using drills, and just hearing these kids going, oh, that's how that's built. Now I know, who knows, there'll be a dead end alley in Queens that will just build a quarter pipe or something now that they've seen how it actually is done. Like, that's the best part. A lot of kids play basketball, but one thing about skateboarding is you can get on it, you can go somewhere, you can venture, you can cover so much ground on the skateboard and it gets kids to go into other different neighborhoods and build bridges with other kids in the community. 
Like, if you skate, you're friends with the next skateboarder, you know what I mean? I grew up skateboarding, I grew up snowboarding, I've been doing this my whole life. It's like, brought me around the world and introduced me to like everything cool in my life. I grew up not playing any team sports, but I didn't lose out on like the camaraderie that you get from those. See right now, we came here to build a ramp and kids that are skating around, they come through and everybody wants to participate. I just know how important it is that kids get the chance to be exposed to skateboarding and have a place to go skateboard, you know, and uh, yeah, you know, it can really change your life, so. I think people are scared of kids in a lot of ways because kids are rowdy, kids are noisy. You know, kids get into trouble, and I think people are a little bit afraid of that because it like shakes people up. People are scared of anything that shakes people up, and shaking things up is exactly what needs to happen right now. So, more skate parks. <laughs>